Thanks, Madison. In the fog, you know, it's going back and forth, so it, it was getting a little bit worse. <clears throat> now, just in the last five minutes since I was on, uh, it's gotten just a tad better. So, it's, again, going back and forth, and that's kind of the case this morning, but not bad for most. Now, let's take a look at these temperatures, and, uh, you know, November, well below average. This has been a chilly November. There's no doubt about that. Only four days above average. The rest of the time, we've been pretty much below. And uh, going forward, we're going to still be below average, but at least we're going to warm up a little bit compared to the weekend. Today, high of 56 degrees. So that'll be nice getting into the 50s. Um, mid 50s tomorrow, 57 Thursday, and then 68 Friday. Nice little warm up there. Maybe hitting 70, we'll see. And then uh, 50s again on Saturday, a cool down for the weekend. Now, we don't have any big weather systems around at the moment. We had a weak disturbance move through last night. Now that's moved up into the northeast states, causing some wintry weather. We don't have that. We've got a weak area of high pressure, but it's so weak it's not clearing us out. We got clouds, got a little bit of that patchy fog, and the temperatures mid to upper 40s right now throughout the entire region. So uh, temperatures a little bit chilly, and there's not much breeze, but it's just damp. So that's why you might feel a little chilly this morning. Now, here's Super Doppler 10. There's been a couple sprinkles near the Outer Banks. Rest of us, no rain, and I'm not really expecting rain for today. But we will see a mix of sun and clouds. So between now and noon, partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies, a few showers offshore, and a light west wind. Going into the afternoon, uh, we're going to see, again, that mix of sun and clouds. So perhaps if this is right, we get partly cloudy skies in some locations and some nice breaks in the cloud cover. That will help to warm things up. Winds will be variable a little bit, but I think it will mostly be out of the west. Overnight, we'll have some clouds. There might be a stray shower, too. Some other computer models suggest that. I think we could see a stray shower. Very low chance, though. And then tomorrow, ah, here we go. We're going to have a northwest wind, so that will keep the temps from climbing, but it's going to dry us out, so we're going to have partly cloudy skies and maybe even mostly sunny for a good portion of the day. So finally getting a good amount of sunshine Wednesday. Today it will kind of go back and forth a little bit. 56 degrees, Kildova Hills, 57 Currituck, 57 in Chesapeake, <clears throat> and 54 in Virginia Beach. 56 in Norfolk, 56 in Portsmouth. We got uh, mid 50s in Hampton, Newport News, but low 50s in Melva, Parksley, Gloucester, and also uh, upper 50s in Williamsburg. Now in the tropics, we got a weak disturbance that I'm tracking. It's east of the Lesser Antilles. It's going to move to the northwest, and it might become a system briefly, but it's probably going to wrap up into one of these cold fronts. There's a lot popping off the United States, so most likely that will happen and it will stay out to sea. But we'll watch it. We'll track it just in case. Tomorrow, 55, partly cloudy, and then as we get into uh, Wednesday or Thursday and Friday, rather, temps warm up even more. 57 Thursday, 68 Friday, but a cold front does move in as we get into Saturday. That's going to cool us down. It's going to give us some scattered showers, and some of those could continue into the evening. Some folks had a little bit of fog this morning. Is that still hanging around?